Hi, I'm Chef Alex Aiken. Uh, I'm the chef patron for Harbour Hotels, principally the jetty, and especially this jetty here in one of in Christchurch. I love wild food, um, and so being close to the sea and with the restaurant called the jetty, which is predominantly seafood, seafood is my favourite. Uh, I showed earlier today that cod and crab, which is a, a dish that's been on my menu for years, and it's still up there as one of the best selling dishes on our menu, so cod and crab. We're always doing menu changes, but I, I think it's because the seasons change, and why I say it's wild food, so as the season changes, all the wild samphires coming into season now, so both rock and mass samphire will be coming on the menu. Yep. The, the sea bream season started, the bass has started, mm -hmm. lobsters, crabs, so our menus change with what the fishermen are catching, mm -hmm. and, um, or what we're foraging, or what the farmers are producing. Well, see, I was slightly outside the area for a long time, um, so I live in Sway now, which is in the New yep. Forest. Um, but to sort of take the drive downhill to Motherford and arrive at Motherford and Christchurch Dorset and see that view out there yep. of the sea is just... <laughs> why not? Yeah. Oh, I became a chef by accident, really. Um, I've always loved food. and. Um, I've been a fisherman on a trawler. I've worked in restaurants as a waiter and up to a major, major hotel. Mm -hmm. I loved Chefy TV. Yeah. This was early days with um, sort of um, Keith Floyd and uh, Robert Carrier. Um, and I bought a restaurant with my wife um, on my 25th birthday. Wow. Bought two chef's jackets, two cookery books. Wife was eight and a half months pregnant. We opened a restaurant. There you go, wow. And I'd never cooked before in a professional kitchen, so it was quite quite different, quite that's exciting. Right. Yeah. That is very right. good chef taste. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And that's not just personal taste and how you look, how you dress, that's mm. taste on the tongue. Yeah. And um, and not not doing too much to a dish. Yeah. yeah. When when young chefs are cooking for me or coming with new dishes, you often find there's seven elements on the dish. Mm. You know, five is almost too much. Mm. And so you're always taking bits off a dish to make it simple. So that you try to accentuate the ingredient rather than mess it up. Yeah. Making people happy. Yeah. And that's from coming in and treating my <coughs> staff like my children, and treating my customers like my family yeah. and best friends. Eat out, eat out, eat <laughs> out, eat out. I was self-taught, yeah. and so I didn't really see how other chefs did it. Mm -hmm. But with my palate, my taste, I was eating out. And actually, when I opened my first restaurant, the biggest bill against tax was my eating out bill. And uh, it took a bit of persuasion to the VAT and customs <laughs> and the HMRC that it was a legal right that I should eat out to see yeah. what other restaurants were doing. Visit the jetty if you just want to have some great food in a great environment, served by some lovely people that generally smile all day long. Um, especially looking at the size of me today. My hobby for years was horse riding and to a fairly high standard of dressage. Not a lot of people know that. Um, highlight for my career, it was the Michelin star I held for 15 years in the New Forest and winning the, the, the um, UK Seafood Restaurant of the Year here at the Jetty.